Hello soulmates, welcome and welcome back again to my channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please consider subscribing because on this channel, I teach you how to do simple DIY fashion right there at your home. Today, I will be showing you how to draw flares. So I'll be showing you four different types of flare, the 360 degree, the 720 degree, the 1080 degree and the 1440 degrees I in in a previous video I looked at the 360 degree flare but today I just want to um, do it as a refresher so that you could understand how you could use this flare pattern the 360 de degree flare in order to calculate the 720 degree the 1080 degree and the 1440 degree. So let's get started. Okay, so there are some specific calculations that you will need in order to arrive at this, these flares. So for the 360 degree flare, the main thing you're going to need is your waist okay so you're going to measure your waist so when you when you think of a 360 degree flare you think of a complete circle or a complete revolution so in this case you're just going to have one complete circle as your peplum so what you have to do you're going to divide you're going to take your waist measurement and you're going to add your zipper allowance so so if you're making this for like a blouse then you're going to maybe want add one inch or depends on what you want and you're going to divide this measurement by 6.28 so for instance my waist is 33 inches if i should add one inch to this i'm going to get 34 inches and I'm going to divide that 34 inches by 6.28 to get my radius. So my radius is going to be 5.4 inches. So then you have to think about the length of the peplum that you need. So in my case, I want a length of peplum that is 8 inches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my radius to the length of the peplum that I need so that I will know how much fabric that I need unfold. So my radius is 5.4 inches. The length of the peplum that I would that I desire is 8 inches. So in all that's going to be about 13.4 inches and I approximated it to 14 inches. So in order to cut this flare I'm going to use my pattern paper to demonstrate how it is done. So here I have my pattern paper and my pattern paper is folded into four. One, two, three, and four. So you're going to, this is your paper or your fabric and you're going to fold it twice and then you're going to fold again. But you have to ensure that on each side of your peplum, you will have, you're going to have the 14 inches, which is going to be enough to cut this out. So what you're going to do, starting from the tip of your paper, right here, you are going to take your your radius so if you remember our radius is 5.4 so you're going to go ahead and from the tip you're going to take your 5.4 inches so from the tip the very tip you're going to take 5.4 inches which is about here so you're going to take 5.4 all the way around okay and 
and then you're going to connect all those 5.4 lines that you have made okay so to make it easy for you all you have to do so remember we said that in all the radius plus or the length of the peplum it's going to be 40 so you're just going to from here so that you have have it even you're going to take your 14 all the way around and my measurements include my seam allowance so ensure that you add seam allowance to turn your peplum up That's 14, and I'm taking it from the tip. Okay, and so you're going to connect all those 14 inch mark as best as possible. Okay, connect all those 14 inches mark. So that's mine but because you don't want you're going to attach this pattern to a peplum you have to take in consideration the seam allowance so from your, your radius you're going to take your half an inch seam allowance all the way around because if you just go ahead and cut this out it's going to be too big and it will not come out so nicely okay and then you draw that back okay so there you have it so now i'm going to take my scissors and i'm going to cut this out so this is what you're supposed to have so this is your going to be your 360 degree peplum top so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and slit one side open like this and so this is the part that goes around your waist okay so this is your 300 and 60 degree peplum flare so i'm just going to, going to 360 degree flare slash peplum okay so now we're going to move on to the 720 degree flare so for the 720 degree flare, now you're going to have two 360 degree um, circles now. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take your waist measurement. You're going to add seam allowance because think of it this way. So I have my two circles. I'm going to need seam allowance so I'm gonna slit it open right here and right here so it means then that I need seam allowance to add these two parts together right here so I, I'm going to need one inch seam allowance because I'm gonna use half an inch here half an inch here so my seam allowance is gonna be one inch but then I'm also going to need zipper allowance on this side and also on this side okay so now what you're going to do you're going to take that waist measurement you're going to add the amount of seam allowance that you need plus the zipper allowance that you're going to need and you're going to divide that measurement by two so this is what I mean so my waist is 33 inches my joining allowance for the two circles is going to be one inch and I need two inches one on this side one on this side for my zipper when I get that measurement so that's in all it's going to be 36 inches 
I'm going to divide that 36 inches by two because now I'm working with two circles. So now when I divide it by two, I'm going to now divide that measurement, that, that number that I get by 6.28. So in my case, that's going to be 2.86 and I rounded it to 2.9. So now as, just like what we did with 360 degree flare, we're going to add our radius to the length of the peplum, which is eight inches, and I'm going to get 10.9, and I estimated it to 11 inches. And now, you have to remember to cut two of these, because now we're going to need two peplums, okay? We're gonna need two circles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate this is my two flare, and I folded it just as I did the first one. See, I folded it in four, okay? And then now I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them, so I'm gonna see if my wonder clip could do this, okay? And I attach them right there so that they're even. I'm gonna put another wonder clip here to hold it because I'm cutting both of them at the same time so that I do not get incorrect measurements, okay? So now we set our radius. Our radius is going to be 2.9. And just like you did with the other one, you're going to take your radius 2.9. So that's almost the floor of the three inches somewhere here, okay? 2.9, 2.9, okay, we're going to take it all the way around, okay, ensure that you get it correct, okay, and then the length, the full length from the center now is going to be 11 inches, so I'm going to take that here. Okay, 11, hey notice it's, I keep, I keep rotating my, keep rotating it, okay, then you mark it, okay. And remember to add your seam allowance, your joining seam allowance. Don't make that mistake because your top will come out too big. You don't want that. You don't want your top being too big and making a mess of what you're doing, especially when you're working on your fabric. Okay, so now this is ready to be cut out. Okay, so this is what you're going to have. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, so this is my first one, this is my second one. I'm going to go ahead and slip this. And I'm also gonna slit one side of this one. So now what I'm going to do, so this is one, and this is the other one. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to pin this together so you have an idea how it looks. Okay. So I'm taking a half an inch. This, see how full this is. 
is what you're going to have. So now this becomes your waist. Okay. So this is how the 720 degree flare will look. So this is quite full. I'm going to leave this 720 degree flare slash peplum. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to get the 1080 degree peplum. And here I have my 1080 degree flare. So for this one, as we, we've been looking at and you've been seeing the pattern, now we're going to have three 360 degrees. So this is 360, this is 360, this is 360, okay? So now we're going to have three circles. So remember for, let's talk about our seam allowance now. So if we're going to have three circles, one, two, three, it means then if I'm going to slit this open and slit this open, slit this one open, then I'm going to need seam allowance to join this, this part, then this part to that part, okay? So it means that I'm going to need one inch here, one inch there. So I'm going to need two inches this time around, plus my two inches seam allowance at the, for the zipper to put them together, okay? So now you're going to have your waist, plus a seam allowance, plus a zipper allowance. And you're going to add all of those together and divide by three, okay? So my waist is 33. I'm going to add two inches, one, two, plus two inches, one, two. That's going to give me 37. I'm going to divide this number by three, one, two, three. I'm going to get 12.3 inches. I'm going to divide that by 6.28, and that's going to give me 1.95 and I estimated it to two inches. So my radius here, so because remember the radius we're finding is gonna be two inches. So my radius, to know how much fabric you're gonna need, I'll have my radius plus the length of the peplums, okay? So that's two inches plus eight inches is gonna give me 10 inches. And please remember that you're cutting three. So now, just as I did, you're going to fold again all three panels or all three um, of your fabric or pattern paper by into four just like I did the 360 degree and just as I did the 720. So now this is going to be one, two, three. So now I'm going to get these wonder clips that does wonder. That does wonders okay and I'm going to pin these together okay so that they're even and then I'm going you're going to do it just as how you did the others so you're going to take your radius two inches here here hope that even didn't give me wrong measurements let me move it again yeah it's correct so I'm gonna connect okay then I'm going to take the length that includes the 10 inch 
that includes the eight inches so that's ten and I'm going to rotate that all the way around ten 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 and then I'm going to connect There you go. But remember, see my lines. There you go. There you go. Then you're going to connect those. And there you have it. As I did before, I'm going to slit one of the each panel. One. This is another one. And then you have the third one, which is this one. Well, let me show you how it looks. I'm going to grab my pins. This is one. Okay, so this is what you're going to have when you have a 1080 degree flare. See how full that is? Wait until you see the 1400 degree, 440 degrees. Okay, so our final, final, final one, the fullest of all is going to be The 1440 degree flare and as you might already guess it's going to be for 360 degree peplums so now you're going to have one two three four you multiply 360 by four you're going to get 1140 so for these calculations you're going to need your waist okay you're going to need a seam alone so let's talk about the seam allowance now so since it's four you're going to slit the four sides the four of them so you're going to have one inch plus another inch plus another inch so that's three inches then for the zipper allowance over here you're going to have one inch on this side one inch on that side so now you're, and my waist is going to be 33. I'm adding three inches for the seam allowance. One, two, three, plus two inches zipper. One, two, and that's gonna give me 38. I'm dividing that by four. And then I'm, divide, I'm, I'm dividing that number by four. Then what I get, which is 9.5, I'm dividing it by 6.28. In this case, I'm going to get 1.5. And as you might know, we're going to add that to the desired length that we need to know how much fabric we're going to need. And we have to cut four of these. So here I have one, two, three, four. And all of these are folded. They are folded by um, into four, okay? So I'm going to put these together. So as not to get in cart measurements. Okay. There you go. Stick. All right. And 
then we're going to take our radius. It's going to be 1.5. Okay, connect those, 1.5 line. Then you're going to take your length, which is 9.5. Just see this, 9.5, all the way around, okay? And as I did, I added my seam allowance, okay? So don't forget that. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this out. And as before, you're going to slip open all four sides. Okay. This is one. Then here I'm going to attach it. So this is one. Let me grab my pins. I remember you have to do it right sides facing each other when you're doing your project. Wow, it's so cool. This is your 1,140 degree clear. See how cold this is? You could make this clear um, a picture with this clear and it had some interfacing here and let it stand. It will look absolutely, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I make content. Until we meet again, I will see you in my next one.